Ravensburger is a game company, so you know when they created Gravitrax Marble Runs, it was only a matter of time before they made a game out of it, right? Is the game any good? Is it fun? Ravensburger has teamed up with The Masked Marble to bring you my full review of this product they sent me for free, Gravitrax the Game Splitter. Ravensburger has actually released four of these marble-based game sets. They all center around a central challenge, get marbles to roll from start to finish with a limited number of pieces. Oh, and there's a catch. You have to build your track to include every piece specified for each challenge. Up front, I think these are cool games worth getting, and I'm going to tell you why. But I also think they have a flaw. They need a big finish line banner to celebrate when you figure out each challenge. So I'm going to design and 3D print my own. And I'm going to give you the design for free at the end of the video so you can add it to your own Gravitrax the Game set. The difference between these four game sets is you're building with different key pieces. With the splitter game set, it's the pro splitter element. With the course set, it's these eight special curve tiles, which are really cool. With the impact game set, the key piece is the Gravitrax hammer. And with the flow set, it's two flex tubes. I think the course game and the pro splitter game are going to be the most challenging of the four because they each come with two marbles instead of one. That means you'll have challenges where you'll have to think about getting both marbles from start to finish at the same time. But all four of these game sets are going to make you think. Let's open up the game splitter set. The box is compact enough to take with you in your backpack. You can see it has eco-friendly packaging. Instead of shrink wrapping the box, the game set is sealed with four clear stickers. We'll just cut through those to open the box. Now grab a cup of coffee because inside we have all of these Marble Run elements. But this game set is not really about how many pieces you get. It's not designed like other Gravitrax Marble Run sets for free play building of Marble Runs. Gravitrax the game is all about solving a puzzle. Even though this is not one of Ravensburger's traditional puzzles, each challenge is a puzzle nonetheless. A 3D puzzle that works when successfully put together. But it's not just a single puzzle. Each Gravitrax the game set comes with 30 challenge cards. That's 30 puzzles to solve in each set. The 30 challenges start off easy and grow increasingly more challenging as you progress. This makes Gravitrax the game a great STEM toy. You have to figure out how to place each track piece and height tile, each curve tile and the splitter in just the right place, height, and orientation to get your marbles from the launcher to the finish line. This game teaches problem solving, spatial awareness, and even a bit of physics. You could even use this in your school or homeschool as a six-week STEM curriculum unit, having your students solve one challenge a day. The set comes with five tutorial cards that show you exactly how gameplay works, and we'll go through those in a minute. But first I wanted to point out the obvious. This is not a competitive game. You aren't trying to beat an opponent. In fact, the game can be played cooperatively, with two people working together to build a marble run to solve the challenge. I love that you're competing against a challenge rather than against other players. Now let's examine the gameplay using the tutorial cards. Each challenge round starts by selecting one of the 30 challenge cards. At the top of the card you'll see a list of pieces. The first step is to set aside the pieces shown and only those pieces. The second step is to configure the base plates along with the starter and finish tiles as shown on the challenge card. The third step is to ensure that marbles are placed in the correct slots of the spinner starter and the finish tile is oriented correctly. The fourth step is to build a marble track using all the remaining pieces that gets the marbles from start to finish. During this step, if you get stuck, you can turn the challenge card over for a free hint that shows you the placement of one additional tile. Once your track is built, step 5 is to test it and see if the marbles make it to the finish line. In the set, you'll find an instruction book that shows you the basics of how the pieces work, along with solutions for each challenge, except the last two hardest challenges. Here I'll show you with the first challenge card. We see the challenge on the card is to use two curve tiles to connect start to finish. The solution in the manual shows how these two tiles must be placed to make this happen. I like that the set contains this card box to keep the cards organized. Each Gravitrax the Game set has you building on these cute little round mini base plates. The Pro Splitter set comes with three, but other sets may come with two, three, or four base plates. If you own all four game sets, you'll have 12 mini base plates that can build some fun layouts. You will need to remove the trim from the base plates and punch out the inserts to open up spaces for building. And that's kind of fun in itself. 
For the game splitter set, you'll have to assemble the pro splitter. The splitter works by sending incoming marbles to alternating exits. It does this by means of this trap door that flips each time a marble goes through. This sends the marble rolling out one of two ramps in the lower half of the splitter. The game can be played for as little as five minutes or as long as several hours. Pull out a single challenge during break time, perfect for a little mental workout, or solve one challenge after another for a full evening of game time. Let's go through a sample challenge. I'll choose card 11. So first we need to get out all of the pieces shown on the card. Next we set up the base plates, spinner, and finish with marbles and landing pad in their proper orientation. Now we'll solve the challenge by fitting in the remaining pieces. Hmm, this isn't working this way. So let's check the back of the card for a hint. Ah, I have the three-way merge in the wrong position. Now every piece is used and we have completed our marble run. The final step is to test it. It works. Wait a minute, we didn't use the splitter in this challenge. I thought this game was called Gravitrax the Game Splitter. Well, I was a bit surprised to find that only 14 of the 30 challenges in the splitter game set use the splitter in the layout. But I guess that keeps a little variety in the mix, as doing 30 straight challenges with the splitter element might become monotonous. I couldn't find any challenges that depend on which way the splitter trap door is initially oriented, which is great because that would be confusing to younger players. Okay, we have to do one of these challenges that include a splitter. Here's challenge 6. It's all set up, now to figure it out. I'm slightly embarrassed to say it took me almost three minutes to solve this challenge. I thought these would be a piece of cake, but the game really does make you think about how to solve each challenge. Here's the tallest marble run that can be made with Gravitrax the Game Splitter. I also tried building the biggest marble run I could with the pieces. One thing I love about this game is you don't need to clear off the dining room table to play. The gameplay is compact enough to be played on a small side table. And here's our 3D printed finish line. This makes it perfect. Check out the link in the description to print your own.